Steph Curry and the Warriors next game. I've been looking forward to this for a while now. You know they'll be running and gunning. And Steph's gonna do two or three things that make you want to stop and stare. But we can't let that distract us. Because if we lose focus for even a second, they'll be up 20. So maybe it's up to me to put on a little show of my own. Everybody, it's your boy Apa King Carter here. Welcome to my game versus Stephen Curry, man. I feel like we are gonna get bombed on this game. The score is already 12-6, and I just got in the game. I got that 0-0-0s type stat line. Now that little turnover right there was not my fault. I promise you, if you guys look at that play again, my boy was posted up and I was supposed to pass it to him, but I don't know who they passed it to. But check me out getting in on Steph Curry, man, trying to get some good shot defense on this dude. Hey, I'm just gonna put it to you like this. I know how Steph Curry work. I played against him in the little uh, install feature, and I'm going to let you know now he cooks. The chef is alive when it comes to him. But check it out, man. I'm going to just let you all know now I'm one of those type players that gets what I want, and right now I want to score, and you know what type time I'm on. So, look, I'm going to pull right up in his face. I don't care if the clock's running down. That's what I do. This is what I do, game. Look at that freaking environment. Y'all know what it is, man. Come on, stop that. Stop that. But Stephen Curry is still having a hard time scoring on our team. And most spaces even having a hard time. Now, I should have grabbed that rebound. But my rebounding attributes, the way my bar is set up, is on zero. But that three-pointer, though, my three-pointer shot attribute actually is on ten bars. So I'm just going to let y'all know now. I'm a hell of a shooter. You know what I'm saying? Lights out out here in these streets. Now, Steph getting loose. We can't let Steph get loose. Once we let Steph get loose, I got to call about three times out straight to ice his ass out. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And Rudy Gay hits a three. Now, I believe in Rudy, straight up and down. But what I don't believe in, Rudy's defense. And you guys are going to see that here. Now, I don't know why Rudy switched off, but we got Harrison Barnes putting up threes and knocking them down. Look, God damn it, AC, man. What was you thinking, bro? You know you can't leave that man Harrison open like that. Sharp shooter. Now, we get the cookies right there. I'm loving the way that if the defense... Hold up, hold up. Oh! Highlight play. I'm sorry. But I like the way the defense cannot react to a pass if their head is turned anymore. I noticed that as I'm playing, if a player is facing the ball, he has a better chance at getting the ball. If a player is not facing the ball and he's in the paint, the pass will actually go by him. He won't turn around and magically take the pass like they did in last year's game. I like that. But what I don't like, and even though I like it when it happens to us, is when the ball hits somebody's leg or something like that and it gets an automatic turnover. I don't like that. But let's listen to this interview. And Steph Curry, a player with in the gym range, he told us about his comfort stretching the floor. And we're five, six feet outside that three-point line. If I have a dribble, if I catch and shoot, if I have a good look, and I think Coach will allow me to take that shot. And, and it's tough to guard, especially when uh, you see a couple go in. Um, that basket gets a lot bigger. All right, ain't nobody worried about that interview. We back, though. But uh, check out Steph Curry. We're going to go ahead and try to double-team him, get him out of the play. Now, Harrison Burns, come on, bro. You know the cookies is going to get taken. If you ain't a point guard or shooting guard, you ain't getting past me, man, unless you run right through me. You hit me. But I know I should have hit Rudy Gay in the corner. I know a lot of people will point that out. But I was feeling myself, if you know what I mean. Now, sometimes I do play my position, I do stay in my circle, but half the time, I just want to score. So I get a pass right here in the paint and get my two points easy. What's up, Harrison? Huh? He good? Now, look at this. Look at look at the isolation that Steph Curry gets, though. Did anybody peep how everybody was standing on the baseline like nothing was going to happen? But check out this dagger! Oh, my God. Steph curry why like get it curry what never mind but yeah like i was saying i played some good defense i will say that for a 60 some overall because i'll be getting the cookie because i just put my body on the line now i hit some with that nice bounce pass 
I will say bounce passing this year is crazy. I'm loving the way bounce passing feels, the mechanics, the animations, the the ball trajectory, everything about bounce passing. But my flashy passing ain't on fleet though. But check out the world and the harm right there. Yo, my players get elbowed in the chin, punched in the face, pushed in the back, low bridged, everything, fight through contact like that, and still get the bucket to go. Rajon Rondo, look at that. Got a small forward on him, taking him to the hole. Let's go. Yo, y'all don't understand me. I, I really do like the Kings. I will admit, I like the Kings. I like the way their team is set up. I like the weapons that they have. They have too many point guards. Don't get me wrong. They got way too many point guards. I don't even know why they drafted me. But I like this team and I like their setup. But the way we losing right now is not cool. When I left this game in the third, we were actually on a seesaw. Now we are almost down 20 points. The game is over. It's nothing I can do to come back. Maybe if I injure Steph Curry for the rest of the season, we might have a chance to come back in the playoffs or something. But not tonight. Not tonight. It's over for tonight. That's all I'm saying. It's all over, man. It's game. Yep, carry, carry, good win. I will admit, if they gave me more minutes, you would have got worked out. Look, I'm telling you right now, you knew you would have got that work, cuz. You would have. Now, everybody wants to know about my hairstyles. You guys know I went from the block to the haircut. Maybe I'll be bald soon. <laughs> the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin, and now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Curry. He just put it completely out of reach in the fourth quarter. It was as if he was saying, okay, enough fooling around, I'm taking over now. I will say this about Steph Curry. There is no player in the league more capable of single-handedly taking over a ball game than he is. What I mean is, Steph Curry's hot. is hotter than anyone else is hot. He can beat you with his feet, his mind, his shot. The only thing you can be sure of is that he will beat you. This is what you love to see out your star players. He's the guy you rely on to give a team a win. Both ends of the floor, shouldering the scoring load. He was a joy to watch tonight, Ernie. And folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Have a good evening.